Wake up, I feel like I'm in hell. I might just snap, but I can't tell. Walk up, get smacked in your temple. Niggas, they driving me mental. Hey, crime wave, a real bully on the street. Feel like dirt, man, a real bully on the beat. I can't fuck with no stupid internet geek. You run your mouth, nigga, you lose your teeth. Hey, niggas so dumb, I can take it. They just got that worm brain, don't know how they made it. I'ma hit a nigga with my skull till I break it. I'ma just shit and pop, I'ma go hate shit. I don't do shit by myself. Call up the guy, give you hell. Take your whole life, might as well. Hey, all right, I'm back. Um, boom. Do you guys like my thumbnail for the monkey ball stream? Hey, what was that? Man, this song is physically hard to me. Thank you, Ray7. <laughs> I'm cool with all the breakfast items. It's so damn true. It's, I'm almost, I'm almost done uh, manually deactivating the stream on YouTube. <laughs> Sorry. I look at all these first-time chatters. This is cool. There's a lot of names I don't recognize here. Sora looks like he'd tell on me for gaming on a school computer. Beautifully put. There we go. The stream elements thing just popped up weirdly. Um, all right. Okay, all right, now we're ready. Thanks for your patience. Um, I've, so I've like barely played this. Chi Pasta says, bro, there's a hole in my heart after that stream, I'm in pain. It's alright, man. Yeah, I agree that they need to fix Monkey Target. I've played- so, so, for for those of you who- Hey, what up, Bogger? You're paying that- paying that Discord rent? Um... Can't wait to watch the Smash Direct, I hope it's Hot Wheels car. You'll be very happy. Wait, why is it giving me notifications telling me- that's kind of cute. It's telling me like how far my friends have gotten. So I have like literally barely played this. I played like a couple minutes of challenge mode. Primate soup. The game was given a 6 from IGN. Bro, that IGN video review was cracking me up! Uh... I think we gotta go classic II. Let's turn everyone to- These are 3DS models, somebody was saying. Um... Boom. Thank you, Primate Suit, for the sub. 
Um, how's story mode work in this? Oh, interesting. It's not a grid of stages? Oh yeah, What someone said, what's the deal with uh, the Brian Matt situation? It's still unclear, to be honest. Um, there's a lot we don't know, and a lot I can't say. Um, but, I... Yeah. It, it, so, the reason you haven't heard me Ready? talk about this game is A, I was like trying desperately to get the... Um, to get... Oh man, it's so crazy being able to move the camera. I was trying really hard to get... Um, the... Snowdrift Land video out. Um, a friend of mine was helping me edit that and did a phenomenal job. Um, and then also there was just like, what happened was it was a little bit, it just felt a little weird for me, you know, like, uh, playing the game for the first time, booting it up and not hearing Brian anywhere in it. I was like, yeah, I, it just, I, it's hard for me to separate because yeah, it's, I did change the stream title. It does Banana Mania, doesn't it? Right? Yeah, no, I, it is fixed. Even Stream Elements knows it. Um, anyways, yeah. Booting it up and not hearing Brian Ready? made me a little bummed out. And it was hard for me to, like, focus on the game because I was just so mystified and, like, Trying to trying to get to the bottom of that in my mind's eye, and now that a, like a week has passed since I got this game, I feel like I kind of have enough distance from that that I can like focus on the game part of the game. Um, like my knee jerk reaction playing the main game for like five or ten minutes the first day, uh, once I got past the announcer of it all, uh, was oh my god, it feels really good. Like I was really skeptical that um. Can he be modded in? Absolutely he could be modded in. I'm sure somebody will. Um. Ready? Go. Yeah, Sega Sega memory hold Brian. <laughs> um. But like, like, here's the thing though. Like, yeah, it's so complicated. It's so complicated. And maybe someday we'll know the, the full story. But um just setting that aside and talking about the game for a second. Like, something that I'm trying to remember is, like, like I said in kind of the, um, the Rise and Fall of Monkey Ball video about Banana Blitz HD was like, there's this guy, Masao Shirosaki, who I had kind of pinpointed as like, our last hope for Monkey Ball, right? And that button was weird. I feel like that should have hit. But anyways, he like, he did it, you know? like. Shirosaki, they let him direct a Monkey Ball game in the style of the old Monkey Ball games, and like, there's so much care that went into it, and so much detail. Like, it's fully like, Sonic Mania. Like, it... it or maybe not fully, because I guess the Sonic Mania thing would be like a new Monkey Ball game directed by Shirosaki that like, had a bunch of new stages and stuff. Dude, that stage is way easier, am I tripping? I kinda wanna play it again and like, see... Um... The customation pack DLC? Let's let's snag it. I'm down to look at that. Oh wait, hold on. Maybe this isn't. I love seeing how fast the ball spins in this. What about the slow motion? That's that's turned off by default. God. Oh yeah, I, I think I I have the old monkey ball music going right now. I kind of think we should we should turn on the the banana mania music just to get a sense of it. You know. Is it here? Yeah. Let's turn on vibration. Wow, what the f This is a high resolution. I do not have a monitor <laughs> that resolution. Uh, I like this version of it. This solo version of the song. Banana... Banana splitters. Um, let me look at chat stuff. 
Uh, MGS MSX, I remember you from the YouTube stream. What's up? Uh, thanks for the Prime sub. World 75 Sieve, I'm really struggling. Is Sieve the one? No, I'm thinking of coin slots. Uh, I don't like the English vocal version of the song that much, but I really like the um, Japanese vocal version because I'm a weeaboo piece of shit. Anyways, yeah. I. Like, once I got over the. The maybe disproportionate weight I had put into getting to hear Brian's voice in this game. Um, the game part seems really good and, like, really affectionately built. Um, let's, look, I like that there's a set of four missions for each level. Oh, not even four. Some of them have more than that. Dude, Wildborg, you're talking about Super Monkey Ball Jr., and I love that game. Ready? Neon Wombo, subscribe. Thank you. That's a good name. There's a mod on PC that puts his voice in the game. Wait, already? That's sick. Hold on. I've never heard this take before, that the N-Gage version is better. Yo, that skip is... I've, I've never really been able to do that skip normally. Engage has target. All right, touche. Hey, not nauseous. Thanks for gifting a couple subs. That's very nice of you. Is there a quick retry? That's very doable. <laughs> oh man, I was just upside down. Might be the best golf party game in the series. Uh, yeah, this is the Steam version. Boom. Yeah, so it's so I kind of you might have heard me say this in the YouTube video I did unboxing the 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 kit that Sega sent. But my feeling on this game has always been like once it became clear that it was not a um, not a port or a remaster but like kind of a remake or something close to it, I was like, all right, so it's probably gonna be on or close to the, holy shit, did you guys see that? Um, the, oh no, I blew it. That was so cool for a second. Um, I just got paid and have to share the monkey ball hype, hell yeah. Um, I was like, all right, I, I was telling myself like, all right, I'm, don't expect it to feel like monkey ball one and two. You know, it's a remake of the stages, but it's it's still like it's probably at its core it's the Banana Blitz HD engine or a modified version of it. I would assume, um, and so I tried to brace myself for that. But it actually feels like 92 percent <clears throat> of the way that I like kind of expect Monkey Ball to feel like. It bothers me that the monkeys don't roll around at high speeds anymore in the ball. I thought he did. They put me in a monkey ball, did they, Muck? Ready? What's poppin'? Thanks for 11 months. Wow, 12? We're coming up on a year. No sparks. Okay, no sparks is a bummer. But I feel like... Yeah, there's not enough monkey violence, I guess. I can explain the difference between this and 1 and 2 if you care, asks Jez. Yeah, please do. I, I won't... I don't think I'll necessarily be able to follow it, but I would love to know. It feels a little less bouncy. Curve Bridge. This was the last stage of Beginner, right? Initially? I wonder how much flexibility there is in the controls until it doesn't feel right anymore. You know, I, I mean, if you put all the Monkey Ball games on a line chart, this is so close to, this is so much closer to Monkey Ball 2 than anything they've made in a while, I think. Like, including Banana Splits. Somebody was talking about, somebody was saying that it feels good with a square gate. Do they mean like digitally putting one on it or like um, a physical like eight-way GameCube controller gate? Jez says, so one go one and two vertical and horizontal inputs tilt the floor 23 degrees and diagonal inputs tilt it 32.5 degrees. Banana Mania every single direction tilts the floor 26.8 degrees. A lot of people are playing with square dead zones because of that. Is that something you can configure in game or would I have to um... 
change something. You can change it with Steam Controller support. Dude, if y'all walk me through it, I'm down to do it. If it'll make it feel better. I'm playing the game on Switch, my game controller, it feels amazing. Word. Shift tab, then controller settings. We're, we're about to do this, hold on. We're about to do the enthusiast hack. Um, does it have the thing where you can like browse configs people have done? Hey, here we go. Dope. Jimbles. Can I check to make sure that it's... Dead zone square. Word. That's cool as shit, man. You gotta... There, that is one thing that Steam has over everything else on the planet. That's dope. Alright, I'll go back into the, the game. Where did I put it? Here we go. Let's see how this feels. Oh, we got a cutscene. Oh, he still loves Mimi. Look at that. He's gonna take her to hell. Oh, wait, the bomb. Okay, they nerfed the bomb by having it not say SMB on it anymore. Is there a jump button? Asks Mario Mason. There is, it's optional. Famu says, should I buy this game? I've never played a monkey ball game, but I'm interested. Uh, I don't feel qualified to- well, that's a stupid thing to say. I haven't played enough of it yet to say, but, I mean, dude, in terms of Monkey Ball games you can buy right now- Actually, I can't say this. In terms of Monkey Ball games that you can buy right now, like, without piracy, this is, like, far and away the best one, not even close, and I've played, like, seven minutes of it. Ready? Alright. Ooh, shit, look at that. That feels a lot better already. Th oh, thank God for you guys, man. I was gonna just like... Oh shit, yeah. It's a little weird... Yeah, I don't know. It's a little weird that the community has to fix the movement in the game where the whole game is moving the stick to go around. The control settings alone make the Steam version must have the tail fall. Yeah, I... I kind of... When Sega was asking what version I wanted, I kind of wanted Steam both Ready? for increased customizability and modability, and also like if you if you turn off VSync, I think the frame rate's uncapped, which is really cool. It looks really nice. Damn, hell yeah! That looks like your dog, nauseous. Wow, if you mouse over it, that is an excited dog. Huh. Ready? Go! It's funny, like, at, at a certain point... That is, that is cool as shit that people are already modding it. I know people... Wow, holy shit, look at the loaves of bread. They're not shiny anymore. They look like... Magma. Hey, the view stage isn't animated? Wow. I'm asking for a Steam refund. <laughs> um, yeah, I almost think... I might argue that the word fix is questionable there. Because at a certain point, it's like... Some changes, I think, probably make the game strictly better. And then some changes are like, we're used to this, so... That's how we're gonna do it. You know? Shit. Oh fuck. Okay, that was the first time the camera felt like. Ready? Go. Apparently, a lot of the code looks reused from Uncle One and Two, but certain values were changed for some reason. Wow, that's that's actually interesting. Damn, I'm very curious how they did that. Whoop! God, I I with one eye eye open. <laughs> you good, bro? Ah, uh, he's at peace. You know the, uh, the relieved emoji? The... That one? The one I just posted in chat? That's I I right now. He's he's accepted his death. He's going right to heaven. <laughs> What's up with these sparks? Fall out. 
Ready? Go! When I open when I'm sleeping. That's right. He he keeps the banana clip on him. On his bedside table. I'm gonna try this skip one more time. This is one of those ones that like I is gonna be hard to it's so feel based. Like it's so ingrained in my head after doing this skip for like 15 years that like I'm like not being able to do it is or maybe expecting to be able to do it from from the jump is not realistic. Um no, no helper. Whoa. They put like a little uh Forza driving line <laughs> in this in this one. Chilling in my local Microsoft Bimbos. Bro, you got a branch out there? To keep this Oh, that is a good point, Hail. God, of course you would notice that. Graphics Master Hail Fall just pointed out that the speed lines when you rotate the camera rotate too. And I just killed myself. Wait, I did enable helper? Oh shit, bullet time. Let's go. I like that helper logo in the corner. It feels like a, an asset that would have been in the original game. Something tells me this is not... Alright, let me turn that off. Um... Boom. Yeah, we were talking about that before you got here, Mason. And also, we have don't spam the same question over and over. There's like a very clear rule you had to click OK on to be able to chat. <laughs> um, yeah, we don't know is is the short answer. Um, it's weird. Yeah, fuck. I, I'm like I'm I'm reticent to get too into it because one, there's there's stuff I know about it that I probably can't divulge. Um, and yeah, Ready? ten billion. Dollar idea, Monkey Ball Fall Guys. They actually did that. I don't know if it's still available, but they added an II skin to Fall Guys, which means I need to reinstall Fall Guys again to try to get it. Yeah, dude, I... Tachyon, I... Bro. It's... It, it's not that 49th, I can tell you that much. It's not that simple. They they fully did not give a shit. See, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm, see, I feel like I'm, I can feel myself... Y'all almost got me. Y'all almost got me talking about it. Um, yeah, I feel like the, the move is probably to be like... Because cause I just spent the past week going through what y'all are going through now that the game is, is out and now that footage has been out, where I'm just like, am I tripping? Like, he's really not in this. It's weird. It's also out of our hands. And I there's a part of me that's like... To focus on that, as tempting as it is, Ready? to speculate about what, what went on. Like, it kind of does a disservice to this game that that Shirosaki and his team made that is pretty damn authentic in, like, virtually exactly what we've been asking for for, like, a decade. Like, that's crazy that that, that, that happened, you know? It is so improbable. I think Fall Guys was one of the better fad games. Uh, yeah, I go back and forth on it. That first week was really fun. I I feel like they really... I feel like Fall Guys kind of blew it with the... Um, the decision to... Man, the new banana placements are interesting. Uh, I guess that's why they call it Banana Mania. Feels like Sonic... Or it feels like Super Mario... New Super Mario Brothers 2. Damn, this is crazy that I'm playing this level right now. That this exists at all. Yeah, it seems like it's only in certain situations that you get to go full I.I. spinning in the ball, which is like, it's cool that they they cared about it. Yeah, I agree. Hail, all the menus are beautiful. What up, Rays? Austin and Gamer says, do you plan on making a video on you playing it? Hey, good one, Jayzaw. Hey, Hale, thanks for subbing. Um, it's, I just, I have like so many projects that are in flight right now. And I'm not like, I, not that anyone would balk if I did be like, here's a game review. But it's not really 
what my passion is and it's not the type of content that interests or excites me the most, you know? So like, holy shit, do you see me clip through that? I, mean, I wasn't really clipping through it, I guess, but... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I really love that that came after a string of me being like, yeah, they put so much love and care into this and you can really feel it. But they really did, though. You know? Like, I, I think that one thing we'll probably never hear about that is almost definitely true um, is, like, there's a big difference between Amusement Vision and a team of, like, s fucking 60 people with this amazing bespoke game engine that they built first for, like, an arcade game and, like, I, am, I imagine that this game's budget and development time were a fraction of what, like, Super Monkey Ball had, you know? We're talking about, like, a downloadable game that they had to build the engine for, which was not true of Monkey Ball 2, right? They already had an engine at that point. Um, and, like, port all these stages to it and add a bunch of new content. Uh, and it's a downloadable game. It's not like a full-fledged console release. Ooh. So, like, I, I really think that... Bearing in mind that this is basically... A set, like... It's, it's... I would have to imagine that the team was not big. You know? Shiyosaki said development started in March 2020 and basically all of it was done from home. Damn. I wonder if that's why we got the cutscenes we got. You know? It did get lots of love. It did get lots of uh, marketing love, Jamie. Yeah. Which I... Oh, no. I love that they use the cutscene BGM in these little videos. It does have a physical release, j -Zaw. Uh, But it's like... I think it's like 40 bucks. That has to also explain the cutscenes and the wonky feel of Monkey Target. Yeah, it's just like... It's, um... Is it true that they made classic skins of Doctor and Yan Yan? Yeah, I'll, I'll show you them. Maybe we should hop out and just... Because I've just been playing on autopilot while, while rambling here. Um, it's kind of cool that I can do that. Did you make that banana bread yet? No. <laughs> It's giving me these alerts every time. Let's look at the costumes. I like how that all the menu sounds the same. Look at this hat with just the word banana on it. Um, yeah, I'll show you the... So I, I remember seeing somebody saying that like the retro versions of Yan Yan and Doctor are model rips of like Super Monkey Ball 3D on the 3DS? How's the banana candle? I haven't lit it yet. Wait, did Anna Spelunky actually get revealed for Fall Guys? Are you fucking kidding me? That's so weird. How bad is Monkey Target? It's bad. But I don't want to focus on that right now. <laughs> we, can, we can look at the party games in a bit, but I just kind of want to savor the fact that the main game is... as solid as it is. Um... Let's customize Ai Ai. I wonder if these are... I wonder if these work, like, when you're using the alternate skins and stuff. Holy shit, Golf Dad Ai Ai. Is like a gotcha pawn element where I can, like, buy costumes? Damn, I want this hat in real life. They, they should have... The I.I. I. ears are very cute and funny that they sent in that box, but, like, I honestly think a hat that just says banana on it in a generic font, no Monkey Ball branding, would have been dope. Wow. All right. Super Monkey... I want this shirt to exist so fucking bad. It sort of does. Can you give them pants? Oh damn, I do like that. Just a Sega logo. I want a shirt with the Amusement Vision logo on it. 
Does it have challenge mode where you get to take turns on levels as Dandy? I know that challenge mode is in it. I don't know if it's still pass and play. Oh, the customized legs thing doesn't... There's actually still no pants. They've got some rules that will never be broken, and one of those rules is I I is nude from the waist down. Damn, look at some of these badass shoes, though. This Splatoon... Wait, there's a, there's a hat in Sonic Forces that says Gamers? I don't think that's in here. This does kind of remind me of the Sonic Forces customization shit. Alright, are we... Is I gonna be a Crip or a Blood? I think I is usually red, so he's probably a blood. Usually he uses a red ball. Holy shit, just an actual basketball. <laughs> cool. Unlock the surprise reaction. Sad? Golden banana mode. Original stage mode. I actually don't know what that is. Is it like... I'm assuming it's the... Um... I'm never unlocking the jump feature. I'm gonna go to my grave. Not unlocking that. But I'm assuming it's just like the art style uh, that the stages are rendered in. I'm not looking at chat though. I wanna like... I wanna see it myself. Where do I change that? Maybe I just activated. This song is pretty good, dude. You gotta, you gotta admit. It's a, it's under special modes. It looks like the menu is saying so. Main game. God, I really want to hear that guy go main game, but whatever. Let's be new I I. Challenge yourself with the original version of the 23 stages, now with adjusted difficulty. Wait, well, then it's not the original version. Of the 20... When it says the 23 stages, does it mean the 23 stages in the arcade game? It's really weird. They're not saying it, but I think that's the subtext. Is like... The original Monkey Ball arcade game. That's a that's really um cuz th cuz that stage they show in the screenshot is from Monkey Ball I think and man this is nuts as somebody who's never played the arcade Monkey Ball I know you can like emulate it but I don't want to I want to play it for real Very cool that they would put this in you know Like there would there would not this is what I mean when I say you can tell that Shirasaki put a lot of love in this game like God, I can't, I can't unfuck the camera. Oh. Like, nobody would have been incensed if this wasn't in there. What about like tasteful color separation at the edges of the screen when you rotate the camera? Vibey. What made me think I could do that? Dude, Tachyon Tony says I played Ticket Mania. Yeah, dude, it really shocks me when I look at the comments on my, my Monkey Ball videos. There's a lot of people who are like, oh my god, this game is my childhood. I used to play it all the time at Dave and & Buster's. And clearly what they're talking about is, um, Ticket Blitz, you know? Which I, I think is what you were thinking of there. These are the original versions, Ready? not arcade. Go. Wait, you can play as a Dreamcast? I gotta remember that, like, not everybody has been as vigilantly tracking this game's development as I have. So there's a lot of stuff that y'all haven't seen. Um. Boom. Let me just get a quick moment to celebrate with you guys. Yeah, I, the trackball is cool looking. I don't think it's the right way to control Monkey Ball, but... Oh, we got Dutch Gamer? Fluffy Rocks Games? It's a brand new Super Monkey Ball game! Bro, somebody referenced that to me recently, and I was like, that is a that is a deep cut. That's a crazy reference. Super Monkey Ball! It's a brand new Super Monkey Ball game! That should be uh like one of the sound alerts on my stream, right? 
Uh, let's do Monkey Ball 2 challenge mode. That's where I'm- that's where I'm most comfortable. That's where I'm happiest. Monkey gun! Oh yeah, somebody should activate the monkey gun sound effect. Just, uh... Hey, Goober, thanks for subbing. Dude, Epo nuts. Yeah, this is what yours your situation is looking like downstairs. You need to see a doctor ASAP, my guy. It's not supposed to be all twisted up like that. That's called testicular torsion. All right, seek treatment. Ba ba. Yeah, like the original Monkey Ball soundtrack is. In my mind, just objectively better. But, um... But, this is nice music. And just, dude, Ruroni Kalein, you, you're, you really articulated well what I've been thinking, which is... Goddamn. Wait, wait, I didn't hear it! Monkey gun! Oh, there it goes. Monkey gun! <laughs> Amazing. Damn, it's almost like he's here with us. I kind of want to look... I wish I could, like... I just want to look at the background a little bit more. It kind of looks more or less how it looked in the old game, if, I'm, if I remember right. Damn, I was so worried that alert was broken. I would have been really sad, because I'm back on my original computer. And I added those when I was uh, traveling. Hey! I nailed the name. I hear that a lot from people, but maybe I just... Maybe it's a confirmation bias. But I, I tried... I tried... Ooh, Cucumber World! I try to get people's names right. Uh, Mason, you get that mode in the points shop. Under, like, special modes. Oh god, oof! Ba ba! Alright, let's fight these... Let's fight these, uh, Veggie Tails right here. Take that. Bob the Tomato is quaking. I just snuck past Larry. Did you know rich people really put monkeys in balls and make them navigate obstacle courses? Yeah, that's what Squid Game's about, right? Whoa, what am I doing? I like the new mini-map. Can you still- yeah, you can still scale it. Whoa, there's a fourth option called turning it off! That shit rocks. Also, I really like that, uh, just like in Monkey Ball 2, you can, like, there's a lava version of this stage and a non-lava version of this stage to enjoy. Go, I! Yeah, I think the statute of limitations on Squid Game spoilers is not up. Because we're talking about almost eight and a half, nine hours of television. But I finished it last night, and I I like that show a lot. I don't think we can openly talk about it yet, but maybe maybe by Halloween. Dude, the Halloween Squid Game vibes are gonna be nuts. Dude, Jamie, your brother is a real one. All right, most important thing in the game. The sun. Does he have an ugly face on the back? He should have appeared by now. Oh, yes, there he is! Where's the moon, though? Normally he gets knocked out of the way by the moon, but now he just kind of softly floats away. Where's the moon? Oh, there he is. Dude, I think this is literally the same model for the scary sun and scary moon. Like, that looks like a GameCube. 3D model there. I'm just glad they kept him, man. I'm sad about what happened to Burger Cube, of course. Dude, call me Dud. I just like, when I finished Squid Game last night, I googled Squid Game. Just by itself. And there was like multiple news articles that's like, here's where you can get your Squid Game costume for Halloween. I was like, damn. I don't know how accurate they are, but I was well, like, on, after watching two episodes, I said to my girlfriend, like, Damn, dude, they... 
There is someone right now spinning up an Amazon shop and just like jumping on this opportunity about to make a trillion dollars. Oh yeah, look at that, he does spin. Damn, being able to rotate the camera like this feels nuts. Wait, I'm not centered. Here we go. God, I is just reduced to a puddle. It's so crazy that they made a new Monkey Ball game and that it's like... I kind of like this song too. Ready? Yeah, I miss the Sparks also. But like, if this game does well, it seems to have reviewed pretty well and fans seem pretty happy with it other than like the most insane 1% of Monkey Ball fans. You know the, you know the type. I'm probably among them in many ways, but you know, you know the type. Uh, I wonder if they would do like a patch to change the uh, the controls, because like I, w knowing now that the it feels so much better on PC when you apply that dead zone patch, I kind of feel like I need that on the Switch version. Um, because the Switch version would be so dope to have. Like, just a, a worthwhile Monkey Ball game to play at 60 FPS would be really dope. Jamie says, yeah, the pro speedrun people who went into this thinking it's a copy and tried to use all the normal strats, but it didn't work because the difference is those fans. Yeah, yeah, those fans. God bless them. I mean, they kept the they kept the flame alive for Monkey Ball for, for so long that they... We owe them a lot, but yeah. I think it was probably smart to not, um, to go into this not expecting that, if you can. It's very, it looks pretty nice. Um, that last level gave me the spins. I felt the same way. Every time I have to turn the camera around, I feel a teensy bit nauseous, but I thought it was because I was playing at 120 hertz. Damn, castless. Ball is right. Ball is life. Let's see if the strat still works here. Is there still a, here's the real question, is there still a JPEG of I, I in there? It looks like yes. Wait, wait. Wait, I should just go into photo mode. I keep forgetting that's an option. Come on, give me a JPEG of I, I. Yes! Honestly, this I mean this this is really my criteria for for whether this game is a success, is if they still have a JPEG of I, I in the middle of this level, and they did. And they didn't need to have it. And most people wouldn't have noticed if they didn't. That that to me speaks to the level of uh, like love that went into this. My BF is a massive Trackmania fan, and I want to get him into Monkey Ball. I really do think that those two games are gateway drugs into each other. I think there's a real chance that he would he would like this, especially going into this with like no uh, preconceived notion of like how the physics ought to feel, or what the announcer should sound like. <laughs> but mostly, like, you know what I mean, though? Like, like I, I, it would be really cool to see, like, Virtual play this game. Because somebody who has no, who's not fighting against 15 years of, uh, of muscle memory. <laughs> oh, wow, Nasha says, I've played Monkey Ball 2 for as long as I can remember, and I never saw the, the JPEG. Yeah, I, I remember noticing that as a kid and thinking it was really cute, and I love that they, they kept it. This feels pretty damn good, man. The, the banana mouse cursor. Does it feel significantly different? I would say it feels different. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like, there are some... Uh, there are definitely some, some people out there where they're like, this is unplayable. Probably, right? Like, there's a 0.0001% of the most insane Monkey Ball fans who are like, this is worthless. <laughs> I would imagine. I haven't looked, but I imagine those people exist. Um, but I would say it feels a little different, but like, significantly different? Uh, it's on the line. I will say this, though. Aesthetically, I the decision to uh, take all the weird, glossy, tech demo-looking items like like stage hazards, you know, like the the big loaves of bread from that one level and these things and turn them into like volcanic rock or underwater rock. It's not as cool. That is a that is a one of the few like aesthetic missteps in this game. Ready? 
Dude, I, Golden Banana Mode is new to this game, so the same thing would have happened to me, Mason. Um, you can't change the announcer? No. No, you can't. I think if they made all new levels, nobody would mind the control changes. Yeah, I... I dude, it's really... Hylian Guard, that... I will say this, like... I'm a little mystified by the decision to... Um, like, doggedly <laughs> remake... Only Monkey Ball 1 and 2 stages with, like, like new physics that will feel a little off to longtime players. Like, why not just make new stages, you know? I... some They had to, like, go in and, like, painstakingly... Recreate all these old levels, and it's like, why? Like, I think some of these stages are classics and are great levels and would be great... Push bar. Oh yeah, this one used to be called URL, right? Um, some of, uh... There's some really great stages in the old games, and there's some really mediocre ones, and I know they've made some changes. Um... Thoughts on the new announcer? Th okay. Candidly, I think the, the female announcer is... I'm not really bothered by her. She's, um, because I think she's always been the announcer in Japan, or it's always been, like, the announcer has always been a woman in Japanese Monkey Ball, I think. Not counting the original arcade release, where it was like a robot voice. Um, I think it's like the voice actress for Ai, Ai maybe? I'm not sure. But yeah, she's fine. I, I don't really, I'm not bothered. I do wish it was Brian, for sure, but I, her voice doesn't bother me. I think the party game announcer feels like they... They realized that they needed an, a lot of English dialogue for the party games, and they couldn't use this actress because she'd already recorded her lines. So they had to grab some dude off the street. <laughs> um. Yeah, we're uh. Ready. I'm with you. I'm right there with you on on Brian's absence. It's a it's it's as soon Mysterio National, as my dad used to say. What up, Wild Omelette? What percentage is old levels? As far as I know, it's 100% old levels. I wonder if every banana is obtainable in a single run. Well, I know there's a mode where you have to obtain every banana. Uh, I haven't messed with that yet, though. Oh, this is a classic level. I just gotta time it right. I think I already whiffed it. Damn, it feels like, uh, the voice acting is pretty close to 1 and 2, actually. Like, the, li the little ooh are very classic Ai Ai. Did the bananas do anything? Well, so they took out the live system, right? So they're purely for points, I guess? It's a collectible. It's, um... Yeah, it's there for completionists, I guess, but they, uh... Hold on. I need to remap this camera zoom to A. Dude, look at that. That strat still works. It's a... Uh, the camera... Oh, Gong Gong's really different? Yeah, Bad, Bad Boon is different too, man. He's not... I do wish the camera pointed down a little more in situations like that. Do I think it's worth the price? Yes. In that, I want people to buy it so the, this series will get like an actual, actual, actual new Super Monkey Ball game. Um, 
But also, yeah, no, I do. I do. I think the amount of content in Monkey Ball Deluxe, which is essentially the content pool this is pooling from, is absolutely worth the price, especially having it at 60 FPS on, like, modern platforms. Um, yeah, Bad Boon is not Reverse Patrick anymore, which is, you know, a little sacrilegious, but... Um, yeah. All the differences make me want to experience the original games before this one. Yeah, that's, I mean... That's interesting. I am not so sure you should. You know? The game looks gorgeous, says Nick Xico. What am I least fond of in Banana Mania? Of what I've played, I would say... <coughs> um, uh, obviously, the absence of the original announcer. Um, and... The English cover of the theme song is a little grating, um, but that's really it. Oh, oh, also the monkey target physics are just like, like, not correct. Um, I don't, are there camera options that I could be like... HUD size. Ooh, I kind of like how that looks. It, it, it amps up the color separation for whatever reason. I was kind of expecting it to look more like the banana splits art style where you everyone was a balloon. But, cool. Yeah, the menu sounds are solid primarily because they're the same. Oh, these are just controls. Yeah, it's, um... I would say this is a good first pick, yeah. Yeah, like, it's... Hey, Zeke, thank you for the sub. Like... Oh, I still haven't gotten good at, like, moving stuff. Ready? And doing my skips, but I should probably also stop um What do you say your favorite menu design in any game is well first of all look at this insane I don't know why the toy camera does this are you guys seeing this like film grain? I don't know how well you can see it on twitch, but it is it is dire Yeah, oh I did it It's not subtle at all on my end. Look at that, the party balls are basically the same. This is the ability to save replays. Ready? It is kind of weird to play challenge mode without lives. Because it's like, well, it's not really a challenge anymore, is it? It's just, it's, it should just be called mode. I always forget that I can navigate these with a mouse now. I'm so used to playing Monkey Ball and Dolphin. Um, it's interesting that this bonus song is actually, it's a cover of the bonus song from 1 and 2. It's one of the only songs that like is a direct, that I've heard that's a direct overt reference to a song from the 1 and 2 soundtrack. Yeah, I wish, it's weird that there's not uh, the option to choose lives. Okay, here's a level. Dude, Deathloop's, Deathloop's title menu hail fall. You are so right about. All right, I this is a level that I have like real like the rhythm of it is really ingrained in my head. I don't have like a strat for it the way I think pro players would, but I'm just this rhythm has always been do bo do do bop bop ba ba dee ba do bop bop. So this is actually a reinterpretation of it's a remix of the washing machine theme. Do 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 do. They turn bubbly washing machine into dubstep. There are missions for being challenge mode using only certain amounts of lives, so that's something. I guess you're right. Especially because, like, in challenge mode, you could unlock more lives, and then you could just play it with 99 lives, which is not too dissimilar from what we're doing here. Ooh. 
The comb feels a little more lenient, but I guess that's... Part of the idea was to kind of nerf some of the shitty stages, and I... Damn, I can't believe I'm playing this. It's really... I, I keep having to... Like, I keep having these moments where I'm like kind of... These out-of-body experiences where I'm like, dude, you're playing a new monkey ball game in the style of the original games. It's actually all the stages from your favorite one, Deluxe. So it's like the one and two set of stages. Like, it is not perfect, but it's it's really something I never thought we'd see. Like, I would say that if like if Sonic Mania is an S tier passion project Ready. from Sega, this is like an A or A minus tier one, and a and really healthy indication of like the state of this franchise and where it might go in the future. You don't see the next level above you when you clear a stage. That is, that is true. That is, that's probably, whoever asked me what my least favorite part is, can I change my answers to that? Well, seeing it above you was actually a Monkey Ball 1 thing, but not in Monkey Ball 2, and not in uh, Monkey Ball Deluxe, so. I really hope they don't just drop the franchise for 10 years after this. I don't know, man. I, th I suspect that, like, they have finally kind of heard from fans what we like about the series to begin with. We don't want a Peggle clone. We don't want a Wii balance board game. <laughs> it, it seems like this is doing well critically for the first time since Monkey Ball 2. You know? It's like... You don't bump your head on stuff when you fly up. That was one of the first things I noticed, actually, is I played uh, challenge mode the day I got my review code and, like, went, did one of the level skips where you have to go underneath the level. Like, you turn around and go off the back diving board. Ooh, launchers. Are there still skid marks on this one? Oh, no, it's a... I saw this on Twitter, actually. I forgot. There's, it's a divot now. Honestly, probably an upgrade. If it works... I think my air control is... Also, they raise the height of these walls, it feels like. Holy shit. What?! What?! Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I fell out up? I fall outed up? That is... That is sacrilege. Putting a bounding box on your height in Monkey Ball. What's... What is... You little Lily are gonna think of that, you know? He's not gonna like that one bit. I don't think Monkey Ball needs that. I'm gonna say it. God damn, I'm good at gaming! Fuck! <laughs> well, I, that's what I get for saying that, I guess. I'm trying! Whoa. He just clipped right through the pot. Ready? Dude, the minimap, the minimap is very, I mean, so the minimap has always been a 3D representation, like a picture in picture sort of camera. But I, something about the way it looks, I don't know what it is, if they, maybe they put like a, a wider angle lens on it, but it looks so nice in this. It's got like, almost like a, um, like a fisheye vibe. And I love how that looks. And you can, you can zoom it out still, or turn it off completely, which is new. Yeah, it's so, there's so many little cute things. That's right, Siggy, you, you caught me on launchers. I like that, that some of the launchers are... Oh shit, I was supposed to, I gotta, I gotta go wake up my GF. Oh, 
my first death on launchers was insane, dude. You just missed it. I I flew up into the sky and died from going too high in the air. Do you think they will add DLC or free updates? I don't know. Or put resources into a new game. I mean, there's a lot of stuff we heard Brian talk about from the, the script that he read to us that is not in this. Which kind of lends credence to the idea that there are multiple Monkey Ball games in concurrent development. And also that's the only way that some of the stuff we've heard could be true. Alright, hold on. I gotta go... Yeah, they're DLC characters, Hoyo, but I think, I think what Mason is talking about is like... Um... What the, why is there a Pringles logo? What was I doing on stream? Uh, I think what Mason's talking about is like new content, you know? Like actual new, new content. Um, all right, one sec. Listen to this song. What up? Boom. A powerful quote. A powerful quote indeed. 
All right. Shivi likes Monkey Ball. I've seen your name before, but you you're really you showed up you showed up to the concert wearing the band's t-shirt today. I respect it. Let's customize our our eye eye. Oh man, I thought it was gonna cover up his whole face. Pink top hat eye eye. Bro. Holy shit. He looks like Cameron. All pink, all pink fit. That one actually looks nice. Cool. Oh, that's sick, Jamie. I, I saw that they were rolling out like the ability to watch streams and ads at the same time. They were testing it. That's sick that they rolled it out. Dude, Zeke, I have noticed that and I feel a little bad. Like, they turned off channel comments. Like, or they still have comments on their videos, but their channel-wide com- Wait, Monkey Shot is back? Holy shit. I wish I could play this with a light gun. Monkey Gun! Monkey Gun! Somebody do the bit alert. <laughs> the sound alert. Casual. Is casual when you- Go! Wait, can I play this with a mouse? This looks pretty much like exactly how I remembered it. <laughs> what a weird thing to think about that it was someone's job for three months to painstakingly recreate Monkey Shot, <laughs> a mini game that like never needed to exist. Their commitment to like being like, yeah, no, we're putting all the mini games in for real. Wait, wait, I want to play some fucking Monkey Baseball. Monkey Baseball is goaded, dude. <laughs> Four teams in a row, that sounds like a lot of baseball. Oh man, the classic home run made out of mutant bananas is back. Oh, the mercy rule is now called called game. Oh, there's missions for mini games. Play monkey baseball, win a match in exhibition mode. I could do that. Oh, damn, dude. I hope you end up liking it, Sheev. That's really that's really beautiful. Luxor says it's my first monkey ball and it's better than I thought the series was. Well, it's also better than the series has been in a long time, so. Okay, this is interesting though. Normal shift. Ugh, this fucking guy's voice. <laughs> Sorry. Um, do they have photo mode in the mini games? Yeah, so they actually did remake this. The home run spelled in in mutant green bananas is still. Oh wow, there's some fucking. Damn, look at him moonwalking. Foal? Is he saying foal? <laughs> Wait, so there's no longer outfielders? They're just <laughs> pieces of mesh with a mitt on them? Two base hits. This dude's voice is killing me, man. Foal. I do kind of miss having an outfield with like seven gongons in it, you know? What a, the most important feature? I'm not gonna say it. Holy shit! How was that a strike, dude? They 
They hit me! I should get to go to first base, I'm pretty sure. I miss the outfielders, but, um... Oh, interesting. It feels like they nerfed the pitcher. What? That didn't count as a catch? I touched it! Alright. Okay, if you say so. Thank you, Bunny Named Sunny, for five months. <laughs> Look at Yan Yan just freaking out. Um, I suck it. I this is actually the most I've played of it so far, honestly. Wait, is that mod? Is there really a mod already? Somebody, right somebody drop a link. I was like, before the game was out, I was like trawling through the Unity files. Trying to find a way to do it myself, but I'm not good at things like that. So, wait, is this, is she gonna blast off? Let's go. Come on, keep going, keep going. Out. That's weird. God, I do like that my costume carried over into baseball mode, though. I'm looking good. Full. Full. Normal shift. Out. Home run! I need to hear Brian say home run right now. Full. Full. I want to see your custom gong gong, I suck it. Full. God, look at I just fucking rolling upside down with a blank expression. All right, here we go. I'm tr I'm in getting in his head, bro. Look at the Yomi. No, 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 no! The momentum in this is weird. Am I? Am I? Sometimes I worry that like, is this my fault for playing at 120 hertz? Am I like breaking the physics, or is it just like this? I would, dude. If this game, got, that's the thing. If this game got a patch. To fix monkey target and like just clean up some of the quirks in the mini games, the value proposition would be so different. I tried out monkey target briefly on my own time before the game came out. I was pretty put off by it, but I'll give it another shot. Some people in the chat had some tips for how to make it like usable, but really I just wish they would make it good. Yeah, Sheev, I read that too, but I'm not. Out certain yeah it's hard to say dude yeah the ui being permanently on screen can i turn that off i get why they are doing it because it's like every every party game has different controls and that's a very 2003 thing it is kind of charming that he says foul wrong I'll say that. Shots, 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 shots. Everybody. Dude, these physics are busted, man. The amount of, like, ground hits <laughs> where nothing happens. It's so much harder to score. 
Yeah, I agree, Blonky. I really think, like, I was saying this before, but, like, if they had cut, like, seven of the worst mini games and just made Monkey Target insanely good, I think that would have been the right. I honestly think they made maybe the wrong call. It's I, it's really admirable that they're like we're bringing back all the mini games, even the ones nobody liked. Three bases. Um, but I think the right move, especially for what seems to be a game with a pretty limited budget, limited dev cycle, and limited team size, I would imagine, um, would have been like just pick the four major players. The question is like, is there a consensus on that? Uh oh, first scored point. Game set. Full. Oh, I like this ending screen. That's cute. I need to hear this dude say home run, though. Was this made by a team in the main studio? Yes, it was made as at what Gyoku Ya whatever. Studio. Let's do it with the weakest computer. I'm so excited. The mild jank makes it cute and charming. I'm with you on the most part. I versus baby. Clay mush, no spoilers. God. Fuck, man. My baseball head just exploded. I'd like to play that Nickelodeon Smash for this game. I haven't yet. Feels pretty crazy to me that there's no voice acting in it. Like, is there not just a big library of voice acting that Nickelodeon can give? Home run! Home run! I like that big picture of I.I. I. Let's do it. It's time to suffer. Yo, the formations from uh, Monkey Ball 1 or 2? Dude, Yan has got Rick and Morty mouth. Look at that shit. Dude, I, I booted up Monkey Billiards on my first play of this game last week, and I was like, yeah, this this still rules. It feels nice. so much like the original. Nice! Ready? Nice! Go. Whoa. There's a change camera button, but it doesn't do anything until you're, oh yeah. Wow, there's advice now? Oxygen. God damn, I'm just like fucking free falling for no reason. This music is nice. Whoa, they show you a close up? See that philosophically I think that's a good choice. Oh, this this part doesn't feel physics driven at all. Like when you're up in the air like that, maintain your altitude and fly to the target. So I have to maybe I have to like tilt back a little bit. No, nah, I'm dropping. I'm dropping like I'm, I'm dropping like a fucking stone. Okay, monkeys. Now let's get in formation. Bro, I'm never going to make it. Try to open the ball at the last possible moment. It's so weird that I gotta like... Nice. I gotta unlearn. See, that this is like... Go. I know the physics aren't exactly the same in uh, the main game, but this is so drastically different. Like this...
It's like... Semi... Don't tilt as soon as you release. Be very subtle about it. I might be about to make it to the target the first time. Yeah, I agree with what you're, how you're describing it, Tommy, where it just feels like it's... Intro to change formation completed. Yeah, I, I killed it. Dude, if I can't make it to the targets, they shipped it wrong. It's not, it's not done. It's not, they didn't make it right. <laughs> It's a 12 mini game bonanza. What is ranking challenge? It's like a speed running, like. Yo, wait, competition mode is back? Like simultaneous multiplayer? Or. I saw that. All right, let's let's do this. So this is like a, a time attack. Ooh. Ready? Go. I'm still in the basketball. I forgot I did that. I know there's a skip there, but I'm just it's one of the I'm so I never learned how to be consistent with the banks skip. Monkey Golf, from the little bit I played, felt pretty good. I got a hole-in-one, so I'm, like, biased. Ready? Go. I like that the timer stops when you're between stages. And also remembers your personal best. That feels very aware of what Monkey Ball fans are like now. Hi. Hey, it just got raided by RickyGR97. Thanks for that. How are you feeling about the actual feel of the regular Monkey Ball stages? I think it's... it's alright. I went into this being like, alright, it's gonna be different. I've made my peace with it being different. I could just tell from like the trailers it wasn't gonna feel the same. And so with that in mind, I'm like fine with it. Uh, the chat um, put me... what up Oblivion and Ricky? Thanks for the raid. Uh, chat actually guided me towards installing like a custom controller configuration that makes it feel closer to original Monkey Ball. And that's been great. God, I just can't like this. The camera for skips is is broken. Fall out. Boom. Ready? Go. Like, man, I'm. You know what's interesting? I never realized in the trailers that these are actual Fall remakes or or gentle reinterpretations Ready? of the music. Go. Like, there's little bits of the original lava theme from Monkey Ball 2 in here. It feels like your uh, your path is pretty locked in once you like once I've jumped. It feels like I have a little bit less ability to change course. Ooh, ooh, okay. All right, I'm learning. I'm improving. There we go. Yeah, that camera mod is actually maybe more necessary than I suggested. The timer is really hard to see though. Ready. <laughs> yeah, maybe they could have toned down the gray a little bit. I appreciate the aesthetic that they're going for, but you're right. It's also somebody um made like an Instagram post and for some reason tagged me and tagged Brian in it, where they were complaining that like the timer, that having like a fully opaque timer, um, that's touching the monkey, kind of fucks up your ability to position your jumps and stuff, which I think is probably probably makes sense. Uh, yeah, Jayzaw, it's I'm it's mostly using the mini map for that that jump you just watched me do. Ready? Go. God damn, I uh, you are spinning. That's a lot of bananas. I mean, here's an interesting case where they kind of... 
sometimes those banana bunches that appear after the goal were like almost ungettable in classic monkey ball in most situations. So it feels like they kind of, there's some stuff about monkey ball that was unusual that seems like they cleaned up, you know? It's not all things that are broken that didn't used to be. There's a lot of things that used to be broken that are fixed now. Like I think, I, I'm, this probably makes me a bad monkey ball fan, but whatever. I think like the levels that they, um, they nerfed in difficulty, like, uh, arachno what was it called? Arachnophobia? Is that what it's called? The big spider one? The big octopus spider one? Uh-oh. Come on, buddy, you got this. Like, that one and coin slots, like, those are welcome improvements as far as I'm concerned. Those levels were, like, literally bad. Arthropod. That's right, thank you. Yeah, the replay feature is sick. I haven't gone and watched them back, but the fact that you can just tap X... Dude, also, this mode is cool because it, it gives you, in a game without any lives, it gives you, like, a meaningful reason to leave, like, press the speed up timers, you know? Or leave them depressed on certain levels. That's, that's cool. What's up with these, like, hieroglyphics over here, though? Let me... Zoom out a little bit. It's kind of weird how limited the. Yeah, what is that? Is that hieroglyphics? It sort of is hieroglyphics. All right. The speed up timers. Yeah, sure. So there's buttons. Like, on this level, there's a button you can hit that makes the hazards on the level move twice as fast. New record. Upload this record to the internet? <laughs> why is it, Why are these games... Like, WarioWare also does this, where you have to manually ask the game nicely to upload a number to a leaderboard. I don't remember, like, Xbox Live Arcade games being like this on the 360. I like the new aesthetic in general. They look better without going all the way to Banana Blitz. I agree. Holy shit. That's my that's my homie, dude. Mecha Utori's the my 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 boy. I love this dude, man. He's a he's also a Twitch streamer. I wonder if he saw if he's playing right now actually. He was on Sega's live stream um recently. Da 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 da. There's a guide on Steam called How to Fully Enjoy This Remake. Let's look at this. Hold on. Uh, window 1 or Monitor 1. <laughs> this guy's just talking about the soundtrack. All right. Great guide. I mean, I... I point taken. All right, so let's, um, we're gonna do something real crazy, though. Here we go. Super Monkey Ball 3, baby. Boom. Boo do 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 Online compatible version. Oh, so if you if you do this, your online stuff gets like deactivated. Kind of crazy that um, what is move or die? <laughs> People are just uploading it to other places. All right, I'm gonna install this though. Let's hang on a sec. Let's I'll, let's see here. Do do do. Added support for Hello Kitty. Hmm. <laughs> That's crazy though that like this game just f officially came out today. I guess like 
Yeah, it's been out for like four days for, for people who got the... Wow, wait, it also replaces like... Wait, the old voices for the monkeys? And old sound effects? That's sick. And it looks like they're working on ways to make the rolling sounds come back. That's so interesting. I, I love that somebody bothered to make this though. Um, all right, how do I, how do I download this? Hold on. I'll play some, some music for you. Dot, oh wait, iSocket, you sent me, you're gone gone. Let's see him. Okay, he looks good. Sega tank top. You either move or you die. Here, I'll play something. One sec.
See what other monkey ball merch they have. Is that it? Is this like a does Sega? Is this like Sega's like Red Bubble store? <laughs> Why is this? It's just the logo. Um, shop by brand. Has this existed, or did they just add this? And why is it all Banana Blitz HD? Maybe this existed but nobody wanted it? This black notebook is decorated with the Super Monkey Ball logo. No it's not. I would argue that no it isn't. Because the Super Monkey Ball logo... Looks like this. So jot that down. That's what the Super Monkey Ball logo looks like. It's an iPhone 10 case. Um... I want a hoodie that just says HD on it. Hell yeah. Um, Alright, so let's let's see if this worked. Let's see if this took. I'm gonna do it. Play. Come on, y'all. You guys are here for a historic moment. Hold on a sec, let me... Maybe her voice is baked into the uh, theme song. All right, where's the stream we were just on? It was monitor one. My, my shit's a mess right now, hold up. Where did I have it set to? Oh shit, here it goes. Reset transform. Do do do. Man, that song is like fully stuck in my head now, too. They should put Pringles guy in. Life essential items. How did I do this before? I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm just in a constant battle with my, oh shit. 
NVIDIA broadcast is now working, which means I can do high quality. <laughs> background removal, I think. The source camera is busy. No, it's not. You lying ass app. All right, hold on. I'm almost. I'm almost there. Ba da 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 da. Yeah, the playable consoles thing is a is a choice, isn't it? All right. All right, here we go. I installed the mod. First time trying it out. Let's Let's try this. Okay, that sounds like I.I.'s old voice? Four of my friends have beaten this. Alright, let's go normal. Ready? Ready? Go! Take that. Take that, Sega Sammy. The suits that say Sammy can't. Perfect. Wow, perfect. Is that a new mechanic? If you get all the bananas, it's a perfect. Ready? Go. Amazing. This mod is huge. Okay, the game is fixed. This is a, this is now a ten out of ten game. This was see the thing is like a week ago or however long ago it was that I got my review copy and was playing it. This didn't exist. It couldn't exist. But now that this game is in the hands of the community, they're able to like carry it across the finish line. Damn, this is like with the original music. This is hitting. That's cute. Man, it's so sick that literally the game came out today, and this exists. Like it's and somebody released this a couple days ago. Like. The game came out today, and this is this is. Ready? Go! This is making me extremely happy. <laughs> Go! I did see Ready? the idea. Dude, that fist pump is perfect. The mod is at yeah, the mod adds Brian's voice back into it. I kind of think that that goal is I feel like that goal might be the soccer goal and not the monkey ball main game goal, but maybe I'm tripping. Nah, they wouldn't- the fans would not get that wrong, bro. This- this- this mod's been updated. Perfect. Yeah, perfect used to only show up in bonus modes, if I remember right. I like that he he warps through it now. Ready? Go! Ooh, this level looks beautiful. It always did look good. This always felt like a crazy flex for the GameCube hardware. That these ripples looked as good as they did. But now they've got like a nice shine to them. This is nuts, man. Hurry up! Ten! 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Perfect. This really changes the feel of it a lot. Am I tripping? Dude, is there a Dole logo mod? Someone's gonna do that, right? Wait, Maya just said there's a Dole logo mod too, lol. Of course. Yo, you know what we, you know what we need? All right, y'all. Internet, internet, hear my plea on this, okay? I desperately need a Burger Cube mod. I'm, I'm, I will commission a Burger Cube mod. If any, if there are any takers, if there are any takers. Yeah, the melodical hurry up is so much better. We need a Burger Cube mod, all right? I've made my position on this matter very clear. I can see, with each mod, this game's score, its review score in my mind, keeps going up. Modding going crazy with this game that's been out for less than a day, right? God, then that's the correct fallout. Yell. Oh, it's fixed. So what are the most iconic Brian Map party game lines? That's the real question. I also put the monkey- I think I installed the monkey voice changes. How long has it been out exactly? It's kind of tough to say, because it technically came out today, but people who bought the digital deluxe got early access. Normal shift. Yes! Normal shift! Normal shift! Bro, iconic. You can't... You can take Brian Matt out of Monkey Ball, but you can't... Well, hold on. Wait, let me... You can take... Never mind. Doesn't really work. See, this is a guy who knows how to say the word foul. Batter out! Yes! Change! It really tells you, like, the fact that all the lines and all the party games are the same really... Oot! Wait, his oot is still in here. Hold on, I'm like gonna... I'm literally gonna do this. Hold on. I'm gonna get to hear him say it, just he's gonna be saying it at me, not with me. <laughs> is this what the weakest AI difficulty is like? They just never swing the bat? Oh god. Yeah, this music is very PlayStation Showcase, but... <laughs> this is very violent. Look at her, she's really selling that foul. Hell yeah, the strike hitboxes are complete nonsense, as they should be. Oh, no, no. Oh, that's okay, actually. Yeah, my only real complaint about Monkey Baseball is the how, how hard it is to get in any of the pockets. Like, it's easier to get a home run than to get, like, a one-base hit. Oh, so strength is determined by like. Let's go. Strike. Yahoo, yahoo. Foul. Let's go. I like that he throws the bat though. Like, I can't even get a one base hit. 
What the hell? Ouch. Risk five gigabytes. Let's go. Wow. It's like the whip in Spelunky. I gotta. I gotta press it way in advance. Let's go. Change. I will never score a single damn run in this, and I will never score a single damn point in Monkey Target. Yeah, it just it just it's like playing baseball with a bowling ball. Hepu, you were gonna eat a cactus. What's that logo ball. on the baseball bat? God, she curveball. <laughs> Mimi is freaking ball. out. Let's go. Strike. Batter out. All right, at least his pelvic thrust Yahoo. dance still seems to be in here Strike. in some capacity. Let's go. Strike. <laughs> That's Yahoo. not a strike. Dude, oot, oot, priority. Alright, I was worried, but they're never gonna get a three base hit. Ever. Because the game's broken. It is really weird that. Do you think if I, like, turn on V Sync, like, I wonder if the physics are somehow mapped to the frame rate in a way that's breaking it? That'd be weird for a Unity game, I guess, but. OG Rancher says, thank you for memeing this game into existence. I I don't think I did, but I'm but thank you for saying that. Yahoo, yahoo. Strike. Let's go. Dude. Two base hit. I mean it seems possibly better. Now that look at how big the outfield is on that minimap. It seems possibly yahoo, better. Yahoo. Now that I've turned off V-Sync, but not really. Maybe I should turn V-Sync on so it doesn't roll in right now. Let's go. Strike. Yahoo, yahoo. Strike. Let's go. What the fuck? This never- that never happened in the original Monkey Baseball, ever. There's a shitload of friction. Gamer Go-Go! Gamer Go-Go I was always kind of dubious of. Damn. Wow, the V-Sync off seems to help. It really does, right? Change. I've never- like it's- I'm able to at least touch the edges of the screen. All right, shit. What if I um what if I go into my NVIDIA settings and like like set it to uh limit myself to 60 FPS. I mean people are saying that this it's kinda fucked up regardless. Like the physics are just kinda broken across the board, but let's see if that helps. Does Sega have any track record of updating their games? That's such a good question. I was just wondering that. I have no clue. Because I don't... Yahoo! I don't play anything except Mania. Strike. Strike. Look at that. That weak hit. Turn down the frame rate. Yeah, I just turned down the frame rate to 60 hertz. So... Yeah, that absolutely changed it. God, I hate having to think about that shit. But it did, right? Or did it? I think it did. Yeah, that feels way more like a normal. Change. Use 30 FPS? I'm scared. I don't know if I have the strength to do it. I just want a damn home run. I don't think the there was a mode that would take you into extra innings. Foul. Yahoo, yahoo. Strike. Come on, I don't get hit. Let's go. Foul. Yahoo, yahoo. Foul. Let's go. Come on, 
die, dude. Hit the dance. Hit the quan. His knees are like clipping through his shoes. Yeah, the game is good. But with Brian Matt added to it, it's much, much, much better. I agree, yeah. Shirasaki... I feel like if, if he heard feedback from players... Yeah. Weird, though. That's a crazy... So I guess he should just play this game locked at 60 hertz. And see if that fixes it. But yeah, this has been interesting. This has been... Let me get Tails. Look at that classic Sonic pose. Reverse mode. <laughs> Wait, you play the levels one at a time? Okay. Yeah, all the characters have the same physics. Oh yeah, the Brian Matt voice is a mod. Hey, it's... Ring sound sounds like it's clipping a little bit. It sounds like the cash Whoa. register version and not the... Ready, go. It's not like the student version Unity splash screen. It's just they... I think they credit it, I think. Like, they chose to. Ready, go. He, I see what you mean, Hale. He is a bit bright. Maybe the yellow ball was a uh, risky choice. Change expression. Oh, you can't. He only has one facial expression. Where did this Tails model come from? Is it from Generations or something? Ball out. Yeah, dude, I, I agree. I'm... Dude, that sound is clipping, right? I'm not insane. Uh, you can only customize the monkeys, I believe. It might be cool to customize the monkey on. Wait, the toy folder's not still on. I turned it off. Yeah, that's definitely off, dude. Yeah, this is render mode normal. Let's see how it looks with toy mode on. Ooh, boy, now we're really... Electric yellow, uh, electric yellow fruit roll-up vibes from our boy. I need a GameCube controller. Ready? Go. I need a GameCube controller with those that eight-way gate like notches in it Ball so I can go forward easily. Ready? Go. Ball out. Ready? Go. This is Ball really out. hard. Ready? Go. Ball out. I said no to the helper function and it turned it on anyway. That's the second time that's happened. Ready, go. That is hard. I moved it, well, maybe, okay, maybe I did, maybe it was on no and I moved it to yes. It's hard to tell when there's two options and they're different. Wait, it's hard to know which one is yes, okay. Yeah, I need a GameCube controller. What up, Ramona? Okay. What's, what's poppin'? Um, yeah, this is an interesting 
game. It's I can't believe how drastically different it feels with the uh, Brian Matt mod. That is like that is a game changer as far as I'm concerned. All right, who's on who's on Twitch? Uh, Anya's playing RE2. Our good old Norwegian homie. Yeah, I think that if this like this is a great first monkey ball game. The Steam version in particular, with the ability to mod, I just am so brain dead. It's been so long since I've streamed because I've been editing YouTube stuff. Um, the ability to mod it and tweak the controls and add Brian Matt's voice back in and all the other stuff that's coming. Someone said there's a Dole logo mod already. We need a. I'm gonna start putting out feelers to get Burger Cube made. Have you tried the PDP Wired GameCube Fight Pad for Switch? No. Is it meant for like Smash or Smash Lite games? Anyways, we're gonna go raid Anya. Um, thanks for watching, y'all. Um, I think you should probably buy Super Mario Bros. Banana Mania. That's my opinion. It seems pretty damn good, especially for the price. Like it's a worthwhile, playable, good monkey ball game. It's not a brand new Super Monkey Ball game, but it's good. All right. Bye, y'all.